Okay guys, this is uh, Washington State Picker. I just made myself a cell phone holder with a piece of 2x4. I'm just going to show you what I do here to anneal them. It's nothing scientific. And after doing a few, I really noticed that uh, this stuff's so thin, I might have a hard time quenching it without cracking it. But I'm going to see that how that works next weekend. Anyway, I have my pieces of stock pre-cut. I get my forge adjusted here, get it warmed up. It doesn't take long. It's really thin steel, long pliers. I don't know if you can see this, I hope. I just work it in and out. I look at the color. Starting to get a little red. I'm just going to be annealing the part that I'm going to be grinding on, not the handle part. It's a little too bright. Okay. Shove it down in the wood ash. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know how well this is going to work because I don't know what grade of high carbon steel it is. It's just generic. I thought I was buying 1095, but uh, after committing to purchase, I realized that it wasn't 1095. It was just called high carbon. So far, my picks have held up that I made last weekend. I bent one of them a little bit. The other one hasn't bent, so I'm going to make the uh, the actual neck of the picks a little thicker, a little too thin. Yeah, see they're bending as I put them in, so I'm going to have to straighten them out before I even grind on them. And hopefully this, I got the solder or the uh, wood ash hot enough. I just used my torch there. I uh, pointed it down in the ash and I mixed it up with my pliers here. Get it as warm as I could. I'm sure they'll be soft enough to grind easily. Shoot. May not have enough ash. I have this problem even with knives. I bought vermiculite, something called vermiculite. It's, uh, it's for gardening and uh, other uses. But it's supposed to work really well as an insulator to let the steel cool down really slow, which is the whole idea. You're supposed to uh, cool down the steel one degree every hour. Anyway, this, you know, doesn't work as well as a, a good uh, heat treat oven would. I just can't see spending a couple thousand dollars on a heat treat oven. So I don't make enough knives. In fact, I haven't made one in quite a few years now because of my health. But these picks, these are fun. These are uh, real easy to work. I can sit down. Use my uh, table grinder. Have a lot more control. Shoot. All right, one more to go. Poor pliers are smoking. Can you see that? Gotta love that. These one brick forges are very nice. I got the idea from Wayne Goddard in his book called The $50 Knife Shop. It's great.
shows you how you can make a complete knife shop for $50 or under. Okay. And before I start a fire, I'm going to say good night. Look at the belly of the beast. Gotta love that. Here's all my pieces sitting in the ash. Hopefully it softened them up enough that when I work them it'll be easier. And hopefully it relaxed the grain structure enough that when I quench it won't crack or warp. But I'm really going to have to straighten these out. I don't know if you can tell. Some of them bent. Never uh, dealt with thin steel like this before on a heat treat. Anyway, here's my uh, one minute cell phone holder I made. You guys have a great afternoon. Washington State Picker, over and out.